नमस्ते वेलकम टू दिस मंडे एपिसोड ऑफ अर्थनीति टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट इन्वेस्टमेंट मैनेजमेंट और मनी मैनेजमेंट ऑफ प्रोफेशनल प्लेयर्स नाउ स्पोर्ट्स इज स्लोली कैचिंग अप इन इंडिया द लाइक्स ऑफ नीरज चोपड़ा पी वी सिंधु मेनी क्रिकेटर्स and the kind of success that they are seeing in their sports obviously followed by a lot of hard work that they, that they put in to reach at that level uh, of play uh, the kind of success that they are seeing in their respective sports is followed by a good amount of earnings now uh, the scenario say 15 20 years back was a little different players had to take up an additional job along with the sports that they were interested in playing so that they could financially support their families but the scenario is changed today and it is changed for good it is changed in the favor of these sports persons correct it is therefore very very important that they pay proper attention to money management why am i saying this see it is uh, a known fact that the career of these sportsmen is limited uh, say to a span of 8 to 10 years it can be a little longer if you are uh, say at par with the likes of say sachin tendulkar or so but generally the career of professional players ranges somewhere between 8 to 10 years so all the money that they are going to earn is within this short span of time now how do you manage this money so that you are able to sustain your livelihood after your uh, sports career has ended now it is not similar to say a salaried person who will earn a regular fixed income till he reaches his retirement age of say 60 years since the careers of these sportsmen is limited to 8 to 10 years they have to think about money management in such a way that the kind of money that they earn in this short period of time should help them sustain their livelihood for the remaining part of their life after they uh, end their sports careers correct now why i thought of doing this video today is a uh, few days back all of us read about the kind of financial crisis vinod kamli is in now in an interview that he gave to a newspaper he said that he was sustaining only on the basis of the pension uh, a 30000 rupees pension that the cricketing authority in india was giving him now with the kind of inflation and with the kind of price rises everywhere all of us know that 30000 rupees is not an amount on which one can sustain for the whole month now he was pleading for some work in some cricket related activities right uh, after reading this newspaper kapil dev commented that if you work hard you become a sachin tendulkar or else you end up being a vinod kamli this in crux is how if you mismanage your finances if you mismanage the money while you are earning it how you will end up after you have stopped earning that kind of money correct therefore it is very 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 important that you pay attention to your finances while you earn money in your sports careers now there are three basic rules i'll give you three simple tips three basic rules that you should follow uh so that your money is managed well the first rule the first tip is to spend wisely now uh, the kind of money say uh, people in cricket earn during the ipl season is huge right all of us know that uh, players are sold for a crore and upwards and uh, players who are from a very uh, a humble background end up earning 50 60 lakh rupees uh, now in a span of say 2 months when the ipl tournament is on correct so if you are earning that kind of money be uh, keep that in mind that you are not earning a regular income so that 50 60 lakh rupees you will have to manage for the remaining year if you are not playing any other cricketing tournament you will have to uh, from that money that you earn during the ipl season you will have to manage your yearly finances correct so uh, spending wisely if you are getting money in bulk 
uh, not as a salaried person get small amounts every month but if you are getting money in bulk you should spend your money wisely it is uh, a basic rule that your spending should be such that even if your income flow stops in future uh, you should be able to sustain on what corpus you have accumulated so your spendings should be such your lifestyle should be such that you should be able to sustain it over a longer period of time even after your income stops spending wisely is not uh, like how should you spend then see spend on things that you know is going to add value to your life do not spend on things uh, just to impress others because others are not going to be impressed others are going to be jealous so it does not matter what others feel think of yourself think if you buy a particular product is it really going to add value to your life or is it just for a show off kind of a thing that you are buying that product if that is the case think twice before buying it correct spend wisely the second thing that i want to tell you the second tip the second rule that you should follow is avoid debt avoid borrowing money as much as possible now in case it is unavoidable only then go ahead and borrow the money and see to it that you pay off that debt you pay off that loan as soon as possible uh, by uh, buying a house buying a car can be uh, a few instances where you take up finances where you take up a loan and then uh, get these things but uh, uh, like uh, paying off those loans should be your priority and not piling those loans one upon the other should be kept in mind credit cards yes once you have money credit card is an option which you normally get into like the various offers that the credit card companies uh, give to their customers are one of the very attractive points which attracts people into getting credit cards yes uh, my bank also was offering a credit card uh, and the attractive thing that they were telling me is i could get a movie ticket free every month right so movie is one such outing which normally all of us do after uh, obviously uh, the lockdowns have ended and if you are going to get a movie ticket free then why not correct so such things such offers are quite attractive and people do end up taking up credit cards to get such offers correct but if you spend using your credit cards keep it in mind that credit card company will not earn money if you pay the bill on the due date correct but if you uh, like uh, say buy things on emi and pay it at a later uh, date or you uh, do not uh, pay your credit card dues on the due date you will be charged a hefty interest say up to 3% per month which sums up to nearly 36% in a year so be aware of how you are spending on your credit card only uh, spend through your credit card only if you are sure that you will be able to pay the amount due on the due date only then use your credit card so avoid debt or pay off your debts as soon as possible if the debts are unavoidable and the third and the most important uh, uh, rule or tip that you should follow is invest for the future correct your investments should be such that they should be able to generate new income uh, along with the along with your career income or even if your career uh, has ended your investments should be able to generate uh, new income so that you will be able to sustain your lifestyle after you retire from your respective sport so investment uh, for the future for a foreseeable future period of time should be done insurance should be part of your investment management mm -hmm. some fixed interest earning securities also should be part of your investment management and you should invest in such places which will help you generate income uh, after you have retired correct so these three simple tips that you should follow uh, as a professional player correct people do not pay attention to this uh, because they are working hard to uh, succeed in their particular uh, sport but taking advice of an investment advisor taking guidance from someone if you are not uh, uh, 
like if you do not know how to manage your money is the best way uh, you can uh, do uh, is the best uh, in the sense is it is the best possible best possible thing that you can do while you are earning in bulk in your sports careers correct do not ignore money do not spend money carelessly and uh, invest money in such a way that it will help you go through your life after you have finished your uh, sports career correct so this small video with three tips what are they spend wisely avoid debt or pay off debt as soon as possible and third invest for a foreseeable future period of time and you are uh, you are set for your life correct you do you uh, play the sport that you are uh, that you are passionate about you earn money from it and then you which will help you sustain your life after you have finished your sports career correct so this short video to help professional players uh, in their money management i hope uh, i have added value uh, to your investment journey if you are a professional player and if you want any kind of a guidance uh, please feel free uh, to write to me on my whatsapp the number i have mentioned in the video description and uh, or comment below the video so that i can help you answer your queries Keep watching my next video. Until then, goodbye.